Well, guys, I think it's official. We have, uh, we're gonna send a train into space. Look at this. Okay, so we have our little mountain village up here. This actually came out pretty good. I don't know, I think we've broken the game. Uh, we've uh, ended up somewhere where we, wait, what? <gasps> oh, we're in space. Oh no, there's still more track to go. <laughs> Hello YouTube, Komodo Gaming here, bringing you guys another episode of Tracks. and yes folks, we are back once again, and we are ready to get some more work done in the map that we were doing last episode. Now if you recall last episode, we actually created this uh, kind of a cozy little town that we did here, and we created this is Burgerville Station, but yeah, last episode's uh, real goal was to try to do like a stunt track, and I believe we have achieved that goal. Now I, initially I wanted to jump over the town, but... I realized that the jumping physics in uh, tracks, uh, it's really, it doesn't matter how much speed, how much momentum, everything jumps the same. You jump one track at a time. So we kind of had to change plans. As you can see here, we have this like huge, absolutely huge drop up here. Uh, yeah, this is a pretty insane episode. So if you miss this episode, it's going to be up in the top right corner. But today, we're going to do some more work. I kind of want to create something with a mountain. Now, I called this little dingy hill. I called that a mountain earlier, and I kind of felt bad that I did that. Uh, but you guys had requested to see some sort of new mountain, and we might do like a mountain town on there, along with some uh, stunts. I do want to make a, like a, maybe a little stunt loop in that town too. So, hmm, if we were to place another loop here. So we call this our stunt loop number one over on this side. Maybe possibly down over here is where we're going to start this. So yeah, we're going to go ahead and start this here. If you have any suggestions for future tracks episodes, comment below. And if you want to see more tracks on the channel, hit that thumbs up button and let's jump into this. All right, so I think the mountain village is going to go somewhere over on this side. So you'll have a nice view of the town. Plus you can somewhat see the stunt track over there. Now one thing I really wish you could do in the game, and it would be awesome to be able to go in here and actually paint this terrain a little bit because I know everything's really white so it, it's kind of hard to actually focus and see where you're placing things especially these terrain blocks so this is going to take me a bit to work with these another thing I would like to see I'd like to be able to select more than one at a time Ooh, I have a good idea actually you know what? we're gonna do a train tunnel let's go and maybe this will be where the train track leads through and then it'll kind of wind up the mountain now this is going to take me a little bit to do here, so we're going to keep the tunnel about, uh, we'll call it right in here. I really wish we could just like select multiple of these uh, terrain blocks at once. Maybe there's a way to do that. Maybe I'm just completely, <laughs> completely missing that. But anyways, I'm going to go ahead and start building onto this mountain. I'll do uh, some progress updates as I go. Uh, that way you can see how this mountain's actually shaping up. All right, so what we're doing here now, we actually, we have somewhat of the base of the mountain. It's going to be bigger, uh, but I wanted to get the railroad tracks heading that way. And I was kind of curious as to actually how big the tunnel needed to be. Obviously, this is not in the center here. This is a little offset. Uh, maybe we can correct this once we get inside. So, oh, uh oh, kind of lost us here. Where are we at? Where are we at? Come on. There you are. Okay, here comes the train tracks. So I've got to build this little cave out first. Uh, before I actually let's go back one. We're gonna make that go about right. Eh, let's go here So maybe we can stick some houses here. Maybe this will be like a uh, a little cave where some people live Maybe we'll stick a station over here, too So this will exit here and this will be kind of where the exit of the cave is So we've got a tunnel slash cave that carves through the mountain and then we'll start to go up the mountain itself So let's go ahead and let that exit there cool so, we need to stick some stuff down here. Uh, we don't have anything that actually looks kind of creepy. Maybe just a couple small houses and a station. Um, hmm, where do I want to stick these? This is kind of awkward. I don't know what's going to happen once we actually set stuff in here. Can I not set that up against the wall? Oh, I can't. That's kind of a pain. Okay. Now, what about over here? So, we'll stick a couple houses. Some matching houses down here. Let's, uh, let's grab us a station here. Hmm. What kind of station do we even want to use? Maybe just a normal one. There we go. Now, I imagine once we start stacking, as you can see, like, in this tunnel here, it's a bit darker. It's not too bad. Uh, we might need some lighting in here. Let's go ahead and put some lamps. 
Trying to make it look like they have uh, some sort of a civilization down here. Oh, this is kind of odd. I don't know if I'd like to live in a cave. Uh, that doesn't sound very appealing to me. Uh, let's see. Is there anything else we want to stick down here? We might do some fences. Uh, I don't know if they would necessarily have trees and stuff in a cave. Maybe some bushes or something. Uh, maybe some stuff's overgrown in here a bit. So we'll go ahead and stick some of these around. Kind of decorate just the inside of it because you're only going to see this if you're riding the train. Because as soon as we uh, as soon as soon we cover all this, it's going to be pretty much not visible at all. You might be able to go through this tunnel to see it. Let's go and stick some bushes along the tunnel here. Okay, I kind of like that. Uh, I'm going to add a little bit more here and then we're about to cover this up. Alright, so Cave Town is pretty much complete. Uh, it's uh, It looks okay. It's kind of a limited space and I don't want to stick any businesses down here. So it's just like a little residential area for people that for whatever reason want to live in a cave here. So you can see, uh, welcome to Cave Town. Alright. So we are ready to go ahead and cover this up and we are ready to start our mountain climb. Now question is, how tall does the ceiling need to be in here? Can we just go one block? Hmm, I've been staring at this. I think we're going to have like a varying uh, ceiling in here. So we'll have it like maybe about like that here. Let's go ahead and make one layer and we'll kind of, I'm overlapping a lot with the terrain here and that's just to try to create some sort of mountain look. So. If that uh, kind of, <laughs> some people might not like the way that looks, but that's kind of the way I figure this will be uh, good to do this. So let's keep layering this. All right, so it's completely enclosed. Now let's start putting these up here. I don't know how this is going to affect it, but let's go ahead and keep those about at that level. Keep going. Oh, this is going to be a little hard to cover here. The game's, uh, the game's fighting me a bit, but I think we can do this, so there we go. We'll lay that one there. Oh, this is going to be beautiful. All right, almost done. Actually, we're going to stick one right here. I don't know how much of a shadow it's going to create. I'm kind of, uh, I want to see, like, what the inside of this is going to look like once we uh, actually cover it completely. All right, so this is what the inside of a cave looks like in tracks. That's kind of cool. I was hoping it would be a little bit darker. Uh, I don't know if the light sources are actually making a difference in here, but not too bad. Not too bad at all. But anyways, uh, let's continue to make this mountain. All right, so we've been doing a bit of building here. So you can see we have a mountain. Uh, now, it probably doesn't look that big from up here, but if you go down to, like, real person size, or I guess we should say toy size, it's pretty big. So, we're gonna have the path for the cave that goes through there. Uh, we're also gonna have it come out on top, and I've built several ways to get around this area. We'll probably have a bridge that connects across, maybe loop around, go through the tunnel here, which this still just looks like a bunch of mattresses. <laughs> so, you'll come out this side... Uh, have another small bridge and then probably come down and finally loop back in. So before we lay out any buildings, we need to take care of our tracks. So we're going to make this track loop. This is going to be the, uh, we'll call this the casual track loop. And then we will have almost like a, another stunt track loop over here too. So uh, let's continue this. Now I was tempted. I almost wanted to do maybe the corkscrews up to get to the top of the mountain. But I think we're actually going to climb. So... We'll get over here. Let's go ahead and start climbing up to get up to the first, we'll call this the first uh, little cushion here. Uh, we're going to need to do, actually, let's go over here. Let's stay on this little ledge. There we go. So we'll climb, climb. Uh, we'll go ahead. We'll probably put some boosters up here because this is going to get kind of slow. And oh boy, this is going to be a little daunting here. We're probably going to go ahead. Let's go. Oh, is that tree in the way? Oh no, the tree's in the way. Stupid tree. All right, let me delete the tree real quick, and then we're going to curve right and start going up that way. All right, let's see. Can we make this turn? Will it, this work? Oh, boy. No, we're not going to make that. We're going to need to go around this way, and then actually here, and then we'll start going up. So we'll start climbing the mountain even more. This is going to be a pretty decent little climb here, and then we should... Let's go ahead and get our camera up here. Should be able to go straight here. Actually, oh, we overshot that, didn't we? Let's go down one. I want the track to actually set on parts of the mountain. So we're going to do that. Uh, we might be able to do this again. Actually, we'll go ahead and curve up. Or actually start inclining. Turn over. Incline. 
There we go. So we're making it. I want to add some of those supports here to make this look a little bit better. So question is, where's the town or where's the little village going to be? Probably throughout here. So say we'll be going through the village here. Uh, it's going to go behind this little uh, section here. We can go up. We're now even with it again. So we can put houses and stuff through here. Make it go down, kind of connect through here. And then, hmm, do we want to loop this? Yeah, let's loop this. So we'll go up here. So we're going to kind of wind all the way up the mountain here, which is pretty cool. So we'll do that. Uh, we'll go up here. Start to climb, 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 and turn. So we'll be at the peak of the mountain. This will probably be where the mountain station is. And then we're going to go ahead and launch ourselves off this mountain. So... Hmm, let's go ahead and start going down, down, down. I've got a spot in mind where I want to end up with this. Uh, we went too far there. Let's go. Hmm, do we want to start turning? Yeah, let's start turning there. Oh, this looks so crazy. Oh, boy. All right, so I'm going to go around. Uh, we should be connected through this other side, and then we'll create this bridge. All right, here comes our bridge area, and did we measure that right? Oh, we did. Good. So, this is going to be a pretty straight piece of track. It's going to go through here. Oh, no, not that turn. love how easy it is to build in this game. It's a, quite amazing. Uh, let's go here. We're going to start to... Actually, it's turn. Go down, 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 turn. And then we're going to loop ourselves through this little tunnel here. Come out the other side. There we go. We'll have another bridge here. And then let's go ahead and drop down to the terrain. And... Oh. There we go. And anywhere's on this, we can break off to a little stunt track, which I still want to do another jump section, because that's always fun to have that as an option. So we just need to reconnect into our main track, and we should be good to go here. All right, so this is the first time we've actually used these pieces, and these look absolutely awesome. So yeah, this is a track support piece. So you can put this anywhere's where it looks like the track would actually need supports under it. Uh, I, I think we probably would need this on the stunt track, but we're going to ignore that because it's uh, way too high uh, off the ground. But I think this is going to look really cool. Let's see if this pillar reaches all the way down here. So will it go all the way down? Oh, it does. What about here? Oh, that is so sweet looking. So we have a pretty legit looking bridge here. I like this a lot. So yeah, we're gonna about to uh, work a little bit on the village up at the top of the mountain, and then we will branch off. We'll probably go for a little ride and try this loop out, and then we'll branch off into a, a bit of a jump loop. We might uh, go, since we're doing mountain themes today, we might have a vertical corkscrew, and we'll see how high we can get. We might create the tallest hill that we've ever created in tracks. All right, so the track support pieces seem like they fit on half of the track. Uh, they don't like to connect all the way to the ground on certain parts. Uh, it is kind of an experimental piece right now, so... Still probably being worked on, but anyways, uh, let's go ahead, let's go, we're gonna do, I kind of want to do a lighthouse, I know a lighthouse should be by the sea, but obviously we don't have any water around here, so I kind of want to put like a lighthouse at the top of the mountain. Uh, does it actually work? Does it light up anywhere, or no? Just kind of looks like a point here at the top. So that feels like that's good there, uh, we need a station for up here. Uh, I kind of just want to do another normal station again. Let's go about right here. There we go. I'm going to move this lighthouse over real quick. I think we'll go... Hmm, where do I want to go? Maybe a little bit more towards the edge over on this side. There we go. Kind of offset it a bit from the station. All right, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to start sprinkling some houses up here, uh, putting some props down, and then we'll give a look at this and see exactly how this comes out. I'm not quite sure yet. Okay, so we have our little mountain village up here. This actually came out pretty good. Uh, you've got the housing up here. You can go down. you got like a little sitting area where you can look down upon the town. Or you've got your little fountain area here. The train passes right by. We fenced off everything. And then it kind of loops around up here to the train station, which I've also decorated up here. I'm uh, pretty satisfied with the way that came out. So the last thing I'm going to do, I'm going to go ahead and add a couple boosters real quick. And we're going to give this thing a little ride. All right, as you can see, it is actually snowing here, and we're ready to go ahead and go on our little trip. Let's go here to the right, and we're going to hold that down. So we're coming up to Cave Town here, and we're going to go through the tunnel, into the cave, 
I kind of wish this was a little bit darker, uh, but it's just the way the lighting is on the game. Yeah, it would be nice to see this actually be dark. There's the station. Yeah, this looks pretty cool, though. I kind of like that. Uh, it's kind of like a hidden secret down there. And what we're going to do, we're going to start climbing here. Now, I did stick some boosters on the tracks. I don't know if it's going to affect it too much. I feel like uh, it seems like the speed dies down so quick if you're going up. You almost have to have just like a ton of them on each section, which I didn't want to speed through this too bad. Uh, I feel like if you go too fast through here, uh, that would kind of ruin the whole point of this being like a mountain climb. And kind of a scenic view. So here we go up to the uh, the village. We've got the garden section. You can see the residential there. Uh, we're going to curve around, start climbing. Uh, go down here and we should climb up to the peak of the mountain right over here. You can st still see the stunt tracks back there. It's pretty cool. And here we go. Let's go ahead and stop up here. There goes our fireworks. And wait for them. Oh, I love the fireworks in the game. All right. So we're at the mountain station here. We're ready to uh, go ahead and take off. We got our really big bridges over here, which is really cool looking. Uh, let's go over here. Kind of hope they fix that track issue, or at least the support issue. I'd love to be able to see all those pillars go down. So here we are. We're on our big bridge. Uh, we're going to cruise through here, loop around, go through the tunnel. There we go. Let's go down and through here. Here's the tunnel. Oh, this is too cool. And this is going to bring us all the way back down to the, we called it the training loop from the uh, last episode, which is pretty unbelievable. Let's go ahead and we can exit this mode here. Yeah, it's pretty unbelievable how far we've truly made it with the track here. Like, there is a lot of track in this map right now, and we're about to do one more loop here. We're going to do the ultimate climb. So that we don't ruin the scenic atmosphere that we have going on up here on this mountain, we're going to make a loop from over probably here. So we're going to select, as soon as it lets me select, I don't know, the little selector is a little weird. Let's go tree there. Now it'll let me select the track. So what we're going to do, uh, we're going to curve off from here, and we're going to go over this little valley that I've created. And this is going to be where we climb to as far as the game will let us climb. Now, I did notice that if you um, if you drop from a really high distance, sometimes the train, even if you have track below it, say it's a jump, the train won't land on it. Even though it's going to, it like takes this weird curve off. I don't know if we're just breaking the game and that's maybe something we're not supposed to do, but we'll see what happens here. So... I'm going to go ahead and start to uh, build this little corkscrew climb, and we're going to see how high we can get this. Okay, just a little progress update. You can see how far we are above the mountain. This is uh, pretty spectacular looking. And we have already eclipsed our highest jump uh, that's over on the other stunt loop. So we're going to continue to go until the game basically says, no, you can't do this anymore. Uh, I think you can see the red boundary. Uh, it somewhat lights up out there. It might be kind of hard to see on the video. Uh, I'm assuming there's one up above us somewhere. I don't know. We'll see. Okay, another progress update. We are still going. Look how small the town is. That is ridiculous. Uh, there's bound to be a, a red box. I'm still looking for it. I don't see it. <laughs> uh, maybe we can go as far as the uh, as far as the game can handle it. I don't know. This is uh, quite odd. I did not picture being able to go up this high. This is going to take forever to get up. Guys, I'm beginning to think there's not a limit here. We're still going. Like, why is it letting me do this? Uh, on, let's keep climbing the camera here. We're going to hit a stopping point at some point. Uh, let's see. How high is this going to let us go? Wow, this is ridiculous. Why? Still no red box up here. Okay. Uh, oh, it seems like it's slowing down, actually. Huh. Well, we can know we can... Oh, this is going to take forever to get back down. We know we can go at least this high up. Well, guys, I think it's official. We have... Uh, we're going to send a train into space. L look at this. Uh, you know, you would figure they would have a limit or maybe a skybox that would be like, this is how far you can go. But no, we've gone into space, which this is actually really cool looking. Uh, it looks really cool with the snow, too. All right, we're going to cap it off right... Actually, we're going to turn it around. Can I... Well, let me... It's acting weird up here. <laughs> can we turn that around? Uh, let's see. Can we go straight now? 
Oh, the game doesn't even know really what to do. Here we go. Now we can go. Oh, let us go straight for one piece. Go straight. Come on. Let me go straight. Yeah, the controls are hardly working up here. It's like the cursor for the uh, track selectors, like way down there. And I can't even get this track to turn. Oh, wow. All right. So I'm assuming that's the end. Uh, hopefully, I remember to turn left up here once we get to the top. Uh, can we add boosters? This is going to take an extreme amount of time to get up to the top of this. Uh, can I spam boosters all the way down is the question. Uh, we're going to spam boosters. It's not going to be pretty, uh, but this is going to assist us in getting up into space. So let's go ahead. Uh, I'm going to spam these as far down as I can, and then we're going to jump in a train, and we're going to take this beast of a hill. All right, here we go. This is it. This is the climb. Okay, so I'm timing myself. Let's see how long it takes to get up this hill. This is the most ridiculous thing that we've done in tracks. This might be it, folks. I can't imagine. What else can you do stunt-wise besides going to outer space? All right, we are three minutes into our journey up this hill. You can hardly see the town. I mean, it's still pretty visible. Uh, we're, we've hit a couple boosters. I didn't get boosters on every corkscrew. And I actually think I missed in certain sections, but just a little progress update as to where we are. We are going to stop at the top of this hill and just gaze into outer space. All right, we are six minutes into our journey. We are still climbing. Uh, we are getting some booster assistance. I can't, I can't even see the town anymore. Uh, it, we're at an angle. I can't even visibly make out anything. If that is just foggy. I can't really tell. Oh boy. I'm waiting to see because I want to see what the transition's like uh, from this light to the darkness. I have a feeling this is going to be cool. Come on, boosters. Get us up here. All right, here we go. Seven minutes into the journey, I can see the top. Oh, boy. I hope I can slam on the brakes in time. All right. Uh, still moving. Okay, we're going to start getting on the binders here. Uh-oh. No. No, don't you roll back down. Okay, where is it? Where's the, where's the space? Like, where's space at? We should be seeing it now. Uh, we can see it when we're out in the camera. Hold on, let's get up to the top and we're gonna stop here. I don't know, I think we've broken the game. Uh, we've uh, ended up somewhere where we, wait, what? <gasps> oh! We're in space! Oh no, there's still more track to go. <laughs> Oh, this is ridiculous. Oh, this is the greatest day ever. Folks, I think we've broken the game. It's official. We've made it to the top of the world here, but my train. My train is doing... Oh, wait, that, the tracks are up there. Oh, no. Oh, we're falling from outer space. Are we even falling? Oh, we are falling. Uh oh, oh, oh. What is happening? Oh, I can see the town. Oh, this is ridiculous. Why? Why is this a thing? Oh, uh, are we? Yeah, we're still dropping. Man, it's even going to take several minutes to drop. Uh, I'm kind of curious as to where we land. Uh, I think we'll land pretty much in the same spot we climbed, but uh, this is going to take a while. Oh, here we go. Here we go. Uh, uh, oh, what just happened? Uh, we're flying now. We are a floating train. We have broken tracks, folks. Uh. Yep, doesn't get any better than that. So anyways, folks, that's probably going to about wrap it up for this episode of Tracks. Uh, let me know down in the comments below what else you want to see out of the series. If you want to see more towns, more big areas. I think we've about done it as far as the, uh, not necessarily all stunt tracks, but getting to the top, we've done it. We uh, made it to outer space and tracks. And right now we are actually flying. I'm not really sure what's happening. But yeah, comments, was that a fire? Oh, that was a snowflake. I thought a firework just went off. I was like, that is amazing. So yeah, anyways, folks, comment below what stuff you want to see. If you like to like and subscribe, everything helps my channel. And we will see you guys next time in Tracks. Thank you.